So this is our mystery pumpkin squash, God knows what it is, in strawberry land here. It's the leaf in comparison to my foot. It's either a really small foot or a really big leaf. It's a perfectly sized foot. Perfectly sized foot. And a gigantic leaf. Yes. And we didn't intentionally plant this thing here, it just sort of popped up. And as you can see, it's shading one of our strawberries. And we, this is Strawberry Island you're looking at right now. And this is one of our red strawberries here, which we're going to eat soon before the birds or the Bernie the killer squirrel gets it. And these are the other strawberries we have. And strawberry, I don't know, Strawberryville, Strawberry Land. These are two rogue tomatoes that we did not plant. They just came out of the ground. It's kind of crazy. They're starting to get some flowers. So yeah. We'll see what kind these are. They soon look great. And how they develop. And then up here is what we call a kale kingdom, and that's a red boar kale. We've got some more rogue tomato plants that are starting. Some more tomato plants. Let's Another see. Possibly tomato plants. This is dino kale. And there's another rogue tomato plant. And this is how the mysteries begin. Yeah, we don't even know. Here's another. There's another, who knows, maybe Probably a cucumber. A cucumber. Again, it's starting to get flowers, so we'll finally know. It grows a little show, slower because there's a little more shade, I think. Yeah. And there's more. We've got six dino kale going and two red boar kale. I'll pan out to show the whole package. Hey! Woo! There's, there's the yardener of the day. This is a garden in our yard, so we're calling it a yarden. And that's the front of our house, and there's some other lettuce and Russian kale and Veronica Romanesco broccoli and other stuff. And over here, next to this wonderful yardener, we've got some beans and some sunflowers. And no beans or peas. We're not exactly sure if they're going to be vines or bushes yet. It's pretty much a mystery around here. This is an amazing sunflower that's just taken off. And right over here, this is what we call to Tomato Alley. All propped up with our sticks from our plum tree. We figure we re, 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 reuse, reduce, recycle, repurpose. So we took the sticks of the tree and built the trellises. And these are our tomatoes. This one's going crazy. And here's our amazing tomatillo. We had two tomatillos. We didn't get a single tomatillo out of them last year and this one looks like it's just ready to go crazy. This here is the only tomato that didn't really do much. We're not sure what's the matter with him and that's a loud truck. And this is another tomato that isn't doing too much but we think this guy's recovering. He's looking good. And this is Arthur, our artichoke. You can see there's an actual artichoke that's coming there. And this is our avocado tree that came from an avocado pit. And there's our little garden with our corn and our bok choy and, and lettuce and everything. And there's our little smurf person that we glued to the top of the plum tree that we cut down with Gorilla Glue. And so far the neighborhood urchins have not stole that figurine and I feel really proud about that because it's something I would have done when I was 10 years old I would have taken that. We have a real moth guy that we, I haven't seen since I was a kid. Oh my goodness, a little moth guy. And I saw a monarch earlier. Well, hi beautiful. This is Mr. Moth. We have a grasshopper that's hanging out in the courtyard. We take that as a good omen. There's some beets. We've got some beets right here. This is five bok choy all together. We need to thin these somehow or learn about thinning. But haven't done that yet. That's our corn.
Maybe we'll eat all the sprouted ones and leave one to grow from each one. I like that. That's a good idea. Look at the corn that's getting... Oh my gosh, it's getting a thing. Flowers. There's a thing. This thing is sticking out the top of the corn. That's a breakthrough. That's new, new development. Wow. And this is our little garden mojo guy who we got free at a yard sale across the street. And his hands fell off, and then he fell over, and mysteriously, his hands, which were sitting beside him after he fell over, knocked the hands together, and they ended up in this prayer position, and we did not put them that way. So that's another crazy synchronicity or omen or some weird thing that's happened. And these are the marigolds that keep bugs off of our plants, supposedly. It seems to work. And Mexican sage. Baby, am I forgetting anything? Great job. Those are zinnias back there. These are zinnias. And more open space. More open space that we haven't planted yet. We've got a wide open canvas. Let's see here. That's Arthur the artichoke again. The neighbors gave it to us. And this is the other side of our driveway. That's a, what, po poppy? Yes, golden poppy. It's a golden poppy that popped, and hopefully it's going to come and pop again. It looks like a bush right now. And here's some more rogue plants we didn't plant, probably a cucumber. This is Abigail, the other artichoke that was given to us. And this is our uh, regular cabbage, who's giving it a good shot. It's a mystery of yeah. what it will do. Yeah, we're not, there's not really a cabbage in there yet, but... And marigold. Maybe we can. We try it. And this is Russell, the Brussels sprout, who just keeps going for it. The bugs ate the moth worms. Ate like just really ate this guy to pieces, as you can see. But we put the marigold here, and now the worms have stopped eating things, and and he's coming back. So that's Russell. We keep telling him, you got this. You got this, Russell. That's about it, isn't it? That's it. We got whole other more, but that's too much for now. You're right. That's our. That's half of our yarden. So thanks for watching.